The first new item I got was the Linman desk from IKEA. I have had one of these before, but I decided to go for the wood finish and get the bigger 1.4 meter size. I really like the fact that it's simple to assemble. I like the wood look without the large price. It does fit a large monitor and the legs screw off as well, so it's quite easy to move around and disassemble. The only con is because it's not solid wood, the desk is quite light, so it's not very grounded and there is some wobble. However, for the price, I'm not mad at it, coming in at around £30. Next up, we have this grey desk mat. I purchased this because on my last desk setup video, one of you guys suggested to get one just to make sure that my mouse wouldn't get damaged. It's also good for protecting your desk from spills, drinks, watermarks, coffee stains. It doesn't slide around and provides a nice wipeable surface. It comes with a little clasp for transporting and storing it, and it's actually reversible, so it's grey underneath as well. I think it adds a nice touch of colour to the desk and I think for the price $12.99 it's not bad. I have a 2020 iPad Pro that I've had for over a year predominantly for my master's degree. Sometimes I use it for work now but I mainly use it for some other things that I do in my free time. I have an unboxing video of that up on my channel so do check that out if you want to know more about it. Connected to my monitor I have my 2016 MacBook Pro which I've had for over five years with the touch bar and it's still going strong. It's just not as responsive before. I've done two degrees on this laptop, two engineering degrees at that, use it to edit videos still, sometimes in 4k and a lot of other stuff that I do as well. Just goes to show that you don't need the latest laptop to be productive and get a lot done. The stand is from Amazon and it is also adjustable which is a really good pro as most often than not the laptop stands that you find on the market are not adjustable at all. I unboxed it in my desk setup video in 20 2021 and for the price around £35 I think it's a good deal for how it's held up. I have the Huawei Mateview monitor which is a 28 inch 4k monitor with a 60 hertz refresh rate. It has an IPS panel, USB-C connectivity, it connects to the MacBook Pro with a single cable and also supplies power to it as well. What I really love about this monitor is it looks like it's sort of based off of the Apple XDR monitor which is really really expensive but this is probably one of the sleekest looking monitors you can find at the price point that it's at. As you're watching this you might think it looks a bit square and that is because it doesn't follow the usual 16 by 9 aspect ratio it's actually a 3 by 2 aspect ratio which is really really interesting and it's designed for productivity so you get more height out of the screen for documents and really deep timelines on video editing softwares it is height and tilt adjustable it has a bunch of ports including USB-C, USB-A, headphone jack and others towards the back as well it really does get quite bright and at the moment I don't actually think it's on full brightness. It's super super thin and unless you actually look at the back of it you won't know it's a Huawei monitor. This is the first monitor I've ever owned and I really did want it to be beautiful and functional at the same time and last me a really long time as well. I think a lot of people were put off by the aspect ratio of the monitor but I really like it. Personally I've used my sister's 5k iMac before and it is 27 inches full a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and I find that I have to move my head a lot whilst using her computer. Usually my windows are only in one corner anyway. I find that this I literally just have to move my eyes not my entire head which I prefer. The colours on this monitor are absolutely beautiful. It has 100% of the sRGB colour gamut and 98% of the DCI P3 which is supposed to be a really really good level of colour accuracy. So it is great for creatives if you're a photo, video editor, or even if you just like consuming content. The monitor does have a built-in speaker. From the reviews, people say it's not great. I think for the average user, it's absolutely fine. The only thing you might find is, is if you're playing a really bass heavy song, you might not get a lot of that bass coming through. It is located in the stand, so there isn't much space for that. But other than that, I think it's absolutely fine. So what do you guys think? Do you like the look of this monitor? Would you ever get it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. On my peripherals, I have the Logitech MX Keys and 
and the Logitech MX Master 3 from Mac. I got these about over a year ago and they're completely wireless peripherals. The mouse is very, very ergonomic with sideways scrolling, mimics gestures you can do on Mac and you can sort of easily program what you want the buttons to do on, on different applications. If the Final Cut Pro, you can scrub through the timeline using the sideways scroll. But on Excel, this button zooms in and out for me. You can connect up to three devices and I've got an unboxing video of these on my channel and why I've had them now for over a year. I can actually count on one hand how many times I've charged them. They're really reliable and just a solid piece of kit. For the price, it really depends where you get them, but they're around 80 to 90 pounds each. I usually keep a quality notepad and pen on the desk as well for those times where I want to jot down some ideas or make a quick to-do list where I don't want to get the iPad out. The ones I'm currently using are from Papier. You can get really quality, personalised, stationary, notepads, pens, diaries, whatever. And the reason I like it is that it has 135 GSM paper. I have one for work and one for personal use like at home. I'm just really happy with the experience I've had using this notepad. This is not sponsored. The minute anything is sponsored, you'll be the first to know. Mei Ying Chao is not my name. There is a story behind this that we don't have time for on this video. My charger is the Satechi 2-in-1 magnetic wireless charging stand and it can simultaneously charge my phone and my AirPods. I like the fact that this is a really adjustable stand. You can swivel your phone and you can adjust the tilt. I initially got it thinking that it could fast charge my phone but it unfortunately just charges at 7.5 watts. Been using this for over a year and I recommend it. It's around £60. So lighting is not even worth mentioning. I literally have random lamps on the desk. One is white, one is brown. Yeah, I need suggestions. So if you have any recommendations, put them down below. So for storage, I have this little IKEA trolley where I keep all my wires and equipment that I don't use every day and also all my stationery like hole punches, staplers, pens, etc. It's not that organised at the moment, but it usually is. The trolley is £29 from IKEA, the chopping boards are £6 each. It's quite good to just put things away but I still have things close to you and just wheel it under the desk when you're done. It's quite versatile so you can use it for other things if you don't want to use it for that particular use anymore. And that is the end of this year's desk. Tour. Do consider subscribing if you do want to see more videos from me and I'd love to hear your thoughts about some of the equipment I mentioned in today's video. See you guys in the next one.